Welcome to our interview with John and Molly Sparrow of Baxter Springs, Kansas. They are doing the Sweetheart Special, the Sparrow Sweetheart Special um, with us. We're excited to be hosting that with them. They have nine fabulous lots. You guys have done a fabulous job with photos and videos. Um, everything has a PPE with it. Many of them have x-rays also. Um, something fabulous that they are offering is when you purchase a horse on consignment through them, you will get a two-day riding clinic with them when you pick up your horse. So you will get to learn all the buttons and all that stuff. And they've put together a nice little manual of the cues and habits and health information and all the things you want to know um, about your new horse. Let's have John and Molly tell us a little bit about them and how they got into this fabulous idea. So I think we have been kind of toying with this idea forever, it seems like. Um, just really showcasing the product of our training program. And that's really focusing on gentle horses for gentle people. Um, I can't tell you how often um, we see horses. It's like, oh, they're super nice, but you know, they need road consistently or they have these little uh, quirks. And it's like, people want to be able to go and ride their horse maybe once a month, once a year, whatever that is. And we really hone in and focus on that is creating a horse that can be rode fitting your schedule, fitting your, you know, your life that doesn't have to be rode all the time that can go do team pinning and then turn around and go cross country jumping and just have a good time and enjoy your horse and enjoy, um, you know, the things that make it fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just kind of a culmination. We overexpose our horses, I think. And a lot of the horses, you know, that they go on in different arenas than our traditional arena that we use they've been well exposed, you know, horses that would go into the English world or dressage or something of that nature, you know, they're overexposed. They know about cattle, they know about traffic, they know about flags, and they're just safe and fun, fun to ride. And uh, we're kind of trying to bring all that together. And we've gotten paired up with Amanda and just really love working with her. So it just worked out really well and we're really excited to put this exclusive sale on on cow ponies we sure appreciate you guys and that is something that like as i was making notes about each individual horse like they are all very well rounded like you guys do a great job like every horse pretty much um has been ridden english has been over some jumps has been to the sale barn has you know done a little bit of everything for the most part um so a lot of what separates them all is their color in this particular sale <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> their ears, right? We have a beautiful yeah. Molly Mule also. So her ears are just a little bit bigger than the others. <laughs> she too does all of the things. Um, so I, I we're just very excited to partner with you guys and offer such a wide range of sizes and colors, all with horses that are truly solid and safe. Um for anyone. And you, you do still have time to go look at these horses in person. If you are within driving distance, the sale is going to end um, starting at 7 PM on the 27th central time. Um, but you can also call John or Molly, text them. Um, they're happy to chat with you, do a little FaceTime or whatever you need to do to take another look at them as well. Let's jump into some of these horses and we're going to start with lot number three, which is Grover. And he is just a standout guy. He's a beautiful AQHA Grula, um, eight years old, I believe. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And he's one of the bigger ones. He's 15 too. Um, nice, big, solid boy. He does have um, some clean x-rays to look at, a PPE. He is one of those that's done a little bit of everything. What can you tell us about Grover? Oh, I love Grover. He is the coolest horse. Like it's not very often that you find a horse that can go, you know, to the sail pin and really pin his ears and go after a cow. And then you can bring him home and ride him bridleless and bareback. And he's like, okay, this is fun. Like, he has the best personality. He is so fun. Um, he's just gentle too. Like he really is a product of that gentle horse for gentle folks. Like he is incredible. Um, he's one of those that can go months, years without being rode and you can get on him and lope him to the barn. Like he is phenomenal in that sense. And, you know, he, he has a motor and he can um, go after a jump or jump over a log or do something like that. But if you just bring him back, he's like, okay, I'm happy to walk too. Like that is such a phenomenal aspect and very unique in a horse. Um, especially one that is as big and pretty as he is. So yeah. we're very, 
Hopper Grover and um he's gonna make whoever gets him exceptionally happy yes he looks great carrying a flag too <laughs> yes he yeah. does yes, he he things that we haven't even talked about it's like he also is kind of rony so he's that like, very grula roan like on his flanks and on his hips and on his neck like he has speckling as well so he's just very unique in a lot of aspects yes he really is well, and one thing we should point out, too, is his pedigree goes, like, way back to some of the greats. Like, he has some great kind of foundation breeding on his papers, uh, and that's on his listing, so you can take a look at that. Another one that is a big boy but looks so fun um, is Big Dapper Dan, as you guys yeah. like to call him, or <laughs> Big Dan. And that He's a Pertron Quarter Horse Cross, and it looks like he measures just over 16.1 hands just a little over yeah just a little bit over i've ate seven inches (laughs) well but it doesn't matter because dan as well as every horse you have on consignment they all side pass right over to the fence or the trailer or a mounting block or whatever you need to climb on um and that's in all their videos so everybody can see how versatile they are he has some x-rays to view if anybody wants to view those um and he also can do it all (laughs) he's been driven in teams quite a little bit he's very very broke to drive single or double the video shows him in the single setup he's quiet and easy to hitch and just super good to be around that way um he's a nice horse to shoe and be around um uh, taken him to the sale barn and used him there and he's he, he's big and a lot of people question me when i bring these big horses to the sale barn but he gets around really really well and he's very handy to use there and he's just easy from the first time i ever took him he's just so quiet and he takes everything in he's just whatever you want to do boss that'll be fine mm-hmm. and it's he's just a fun horse to to enjoy and taking him over jumps he's very quick to to try to figure out what to do and really settles into any job and but he's just a big love bug he really likes to walk out and be steady he's really good we've trail rode him all over here and just easy as you can please i think one of the really unique aspects of dan too is like he has a gorgeous lope like his canter and it's beautiful like you Mm -hmm. can't find a horse that is as big as he is a lot of the time that will short lope like he will like It is beautiful. Like I could watch John Lope him all day, every day. Like it is gorgeous. It is really cool for him too as well. Cause like sometimes horses can, when they neck rein really well, they can get upset about the direct rein. And he's not like that. Like he can go English Western very quickly. He can be low and slow in a Western bridle or you can pop him up and, you know, put him in an English bridle and he goes right into that uphill forward movement. And mm-hmm. that's a really cool aspect that yeah. he has as he's well. very well-rounded a nice nice big horse with a big personality and, and a big heart yeah <laughs> let's talk about our long-eared friend Lexi our beautiful Molly mule that we have on she is truly we have a lot of mules in the area that I live in and she is truly one of the most versatile mules I personally have ever seen she can go English she can work cattle she can do chores she can go on those trails and she neck reins which is amazing um turns around stops all those rides just like a horse really um yeah so so what can you tell us about Lexi I love Lexi like I'm the mule girl of the the outfit I love mules I grew up with mules like that but they're my thing and she is hands down one of the nicest mules I've ever been around um it's not often you can find a mule that neck reigns and does it well yeah. she does like she's right there in the palm of your hand you know um you don't have to get after her. like you kissed her and she's loping like she has more buttons than any mule I've ever ever been around um and she uses them like she knows how to use them yeah. she's very very cowy like that is the coolest thing if somebody wanted a mule to rope on like she's it like she mm-hmm. would be a heck of a heel mule mm-hmm. team pinning if you wanted to show her like she could do anything um her walkout is incredible like when you take her down the road, there's hardly anything that can keep up with her that's not another mule. Like she's ready to go and she'll go wherever you ask her to go. And she does it willingly. And we call it happy ears when their ears get to flopping. Yeah. Um, and her happy ears are happy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. She's very sincere. She's a very genuine mule. Like she wants to please, which is kind of hard to find in a mule yeah. sometimes yeah. to do what's right. 
um she's incredible with her feet like she's the type of mule that she'll go to sleep while you shoe her which can be hard to find in mules Mm -hmm. sometimes um she's so unique and she's beautiful like she's beautiful steel gray she's she's just awesome I love Lexi yeah (laughs) well and she's a good size too like she's 14 three so she's not super tiny she looks nice and filled out and big Mm -hmm. chest like she's not thin made she's very quarter horse like if you put little ears on her I don't know if anybody would question you about it nutmeg she is the cutest little thing I have ever seen well fine I should say she's not little she's 14 too so she's not super little but she just looks very feminine very she looks very versatile her lead changes are like I could just keep watching them over and over and over again she looks fantastic I see like ranch riding ranch pleasure with all of her buttons and stuff what do you guys think I haven't found anything she's not really really good at um, he's good at everything, which is I used her yesterday crazy. at the sale barn, and she's just great. She really watches a cow. We've put her on the flag just a little bit at the cutting barn, and she really, really took to that. She's so cool because she's got so many buttons. She's just quiet. You get on her and ride her away, and you never think she was at all fun to ride. She's just quiet, head down, yeah. ambles on, oh, doesn't care, and turn her on turn her off it's like a big light switch with her and it's hard to find you know in her age she's five right yeah yeah absolutely but she's just a lot of fun she takes to everything really really well and she's just an athlete she's not hot she's not jiggy she's not that kind of mare but she really is athletic doesn't mean the video and the pictures will show she took right to those jumps and probably has more more aptitude to get over the jump clean no matter how poorly or how well she's presented to (laughs) jump (laughs) <laughs> I would be a great uh pony club horse or yeah or going to that arena yeah. but she, she's good at everything i pulled pulled six with her the other day and that takes like a horse that'll sort that's fantastic but a horse that you can move sick cattle around with and be slow enough to move sick cattle from healthy cattle they have to to move quickly and be able to stand quietly and she just does everything i've asked her to do and another one of those you know she's easy to shoe and and be around she's She's just enough of a mare that she's kind of fun to ride. She she wouldn't quit you by any means, but she's not hard to get along with either. I think one of the really cool, like I know we keep harping on this, but she is so versatile. Like you can go and do anything on her. Like John said, a superior athlete, like her knees are gorgeous. Like yes. amazing over jumps. Like they don't get prettier than hers are. You want to do pony club, hunter pace, you know, jumpers. She would be phenomenal um and she's genuine enough that she's gonna jump no matter how you get her there um which is can be hard to find like there's very little if any refusal in her if you get her Mm -hmm. there she's gonna jump and she's gonna do it pretty that too would make her like a great kind of trail trail horse or like a ranch trail or like the competitive cowboy events for like extreme trail like she's very game for any sort of obstacles she's very much a thinker like she thinks through things which is what makes her very nice to jump as well because she's you know three steps ahead of you because she's I I know what I need to do like Mm -hmm. just just hang on you got it don't worry She's just, she's so pretty. Her face looks so gentle. Her body looks so relaxed all the time. And and another one that looks like so gentle, and I know we keep saying versatile, but versatile <laughs> is steel. He, he looks like he's very similar to her, just a different color. He kind of does all the thing. And he's also only five, same size, 14, 14, two. What, what's the difference between the two? Other than one's a mare and one's a gelding, different color. Is there anything different between the two? I think Steele's personality is a little bit different. He's a little bit more, um. He's a good old boy. He's a good old boy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's kind of funny. He's a little bit goofy versus Nutmeg is a little bit like, I want to win. Like Mm -hmm. I, I have the competitive nature. (laughs) She's spicy. She's a little bit spicy in a good way. You know, she has that forward going nature versus Steele is kind of like, I want to play with the hose. Do you have a crack? You're like, let me eat your pop tart. That's just the difference in them, but they're both very capable. You know, they can go and do anything and do it well. Steele's had plenty of experience at the sale barn as well. You've taken him oh. over there, right? We have one more five year old to talk about. The Chips oh. Boy, your your cute little um Appaloosa gelding. He is registered with the APHC. He's also 14 too. He has a set of x rays to view. He stole my heart from the second. I saw him. I mean, just scrolling through Sweetheart Special, like every single one of them makes you go, oh, 
It looks like Chips maybe has a few more buttons he'll lay down. He definitely looks ready for some versatility competitions. What do you love the most about him? I love everything about Chips. Like he is the best pony. I absolutely adore him. Um, whoever is lucky enough to end up with him is going to see me ugly cry. Um, <laughs> I love that pony. He's so phenomenal. Somebody please buy the pony. So she'll ride all the same. She's not getting tired of having to ride everything else because she just wants to ride chips. He's genuine and kind. Like he is the kindest little horse. From the first day that I started riding him, he just naturally does things. Like anything you ask him, anytime. He might not do it perfect, but he's going to try his heart out. I ride him at the sale barn. And like you said, his his stature is small, but his heart is humongous. Like there's been a couple times where I have not been in a great position and there's been cows coming out of the chute and you know, they're kind of scary and they got their head up and little Chips just pins his little ears at him. He's like, I got you, Molly. Don't you worry. <laughs> he loves people. He wants to take care of his rider. Um, yep. He's exceptionally Fantastic. trainable, like so trainable. The first time I taught him to lay down, it took me like five minutes. He was like, oh, this is it. I got it. No problem. It was a very quick process. So I'm just exceptionally excited about chips and really excited to see what he goes on and does with his next partner let's not forget about our lonely chestnut gelding tic tac the versatility ring is just calling him he looks very happy to do everything another easy lead changer he's seven but 14 one so he's like the perfect size even though he will <laughs> side pass over for mounting as well it's just nice to be lower to the ground he has some x-rays i think you should tell everybody why you named him tic tac first of all and then tell us what you guys like about him tic tac got his name because he is short but robust everybody's like there's no way he's 14 one when you know chips ahoy is 14 two and steel is also 14 two and i'm like yes he is 14 one but his hip is humongous you know mm -hmm. he has a nice big shoulder he's definitely a true product of that little quarter horse that's a cow horse you know mm -hmm. he yep. has all the moves but he has a beautiful cadence about him like he lopes gorgeous his head is down he's collected there's really nothing not to like about tic tac like he just does his job and he loves 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 to work cows like that is definitely his aspect if you're looking for like a team pinner or sorting something like that tic tac is your guy yeah. like he will get the job done and do it quiet and kind and take care of his person while he's doing it yeah great outside we've used him on the trails and just meander through the pasture and he's just as quiet as he can be and takes everything in stride and He's really ready. He understands where his feet are at all the time. And he's really, really graceful and very conservative with his movements. So, you know, jumping over logs or whatever, it's not any big drawn out thing. We just hop over, land flat, walk off. Everything's yeah. nice with him. And I don't know, the, maybe he's just aware, but he's very understanding of the way he moves. And he never puts his foot somewhere he doesn't want to. He, he knows all about that. He's very fun to jump in that aspect as well, too, because he's very smooth. And he's mm -hmm. very collected. Yep. Um, so you just be riding along and it's like, oh, we, we went over a jump. I didn't even mm -hmm. feel, you know, anything change because he is so smooth and has so much naturally gifted, collected movement. Yep. Very good to his leads. And I think anywhere in the show pen, he would, he would do really well. For sure. Well, as everybody's scrolling through all of the beautiful colors, don't forget a look at the solid little chestnut he yeah. is very very sure. nice he's a very nice all-around horse that's for sure we have two to chat about that are not riders right now they could be in the future you guys have a little passion project of <laughs> breeding stock horses quarter horses to gypsy vanner you have a gypsy vanner stallion we have ember who's lot number one she is a beautiful buckskin mare she's six years old and while molly and i were chatting about her she she is not being ridden currently but it sounds like there's nothing preventing her from from somebody yeah. riding her should you want to she is in full to your uh, black gypsy vanner stallion this will be her third full so do you want to tell us a little bit about ember ember is the exact demeanor that you want in a mare that you're breeding like she is gentle she is sweet she is calm she's trainable like if somebody wanted to ride her i bet in two weeks she'd be riding like she is just that trainable and that yep. was one of the things we loved about her um when we brought her into our um, passion project because her baby is the same way just flower I, number two right flower, flower. Yep. 
Um, she's just quiet, she's just gentle, and her movement is very beautiful. Um, you can see in the video her loping around in the round pin and she's just collected and she's pretty and you know crossed on to the gypsy fan or stallion. I just I think that there won't be anything you can't go and do with mm -hmm. babies from her. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And, and then that's flower also, right? So lot number two is flower. She's a cremello filly, so she's a yearling. You can tell she's gonna have loads of hair and feathers yes. for days, even though she's a cross. She has that definite hair of oh, gypsy. You'll know that she's part gypsy for <laughs> when sure. When she was born, she had hair. Oh, like, yeah. uh, when she came out, she had hair. Um, she had a little ringlet hair all over when she was born. <laughs> when she was born, she was born on our wedding anniversary. And so we had yes. been patient waiting um, yes. for Ember to have flower. The second she was born, I don't know if she's had peace since then because we're absolutely obsessed with her. Um, <laughs> I we put her over like little tiny cross rail jumps in hand and over the tarp and with the ball and the flag and then the trailer and done all of these crazy things with her and she's like okay I yep. would be happy to do that don't forget this about the the many many dogs that are running around her all, all your horses <laughs> yeah. all your horses are dog yeah. broke that's for sure I like to tease that uh, we are horse trainers we're not dog trainers um, <laughs> our dogs, dogs are minimally mannered as i like to say and all of our horses are definitely great with dogs because we can uh, train the horses we can't train the dogs yeah. great with dogs for sure <laughs> you guys are fantastic about responding to everybody both john and molly's phone numbers are on every listing plus on the sparrow sweetheart special page um so you can text or call them if they don't get back to you they will get back to you if you need x-rays on anything you can send us an email at sales at calponysales.com we end on the 27th starting at 7 p.m do you guys have anything you want to add to the end i think we just want to say like how excited we are and yeah. how blessed we feel that we've been able to um, offer this really great set of horses and work with you amanda on this i do want to say that we do have some shippers lined up to yep. uh, ship any horses going east or west don't let that hold you back we can definitely get that figured out for you and we're happy Absolutely. to keep them here um, even a little bit longer than that five days if we need some more time, just according to weather, or anything like that. So yep. please, please, please call, reach out. We love to talk to anybody who has questions. Yes. Um, and we're just really excited about this set of horses. Yep. Yes. Do not let location deter you from any of these horses because we will assist in getting them to you coast to coast. That's for sure. And everything already has a, a pre-purchase exam. It'll sell with a fresh health certificate, um, Coggins and the whole works. All the paperwork is done and ready to go. Thank you guys so much for joining.